Got it, got it, got it. All right, y'all. Listen, we we've been I, I told y'all New Year 2023. We on a mission to to connect culturally conscious educators and leaders to the emerging world of technology, man. I got my bro right here, man. This 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 is my bro, man. Professor Stu, as I call him, man. Yeah. OSG uh connected, man, from from the from the shy man. T- tell everybody where you're from, what you about, man, and what your mission is. Go ahead. What's going on? My name is Big Stu, Scott Stewart, or Professor Stewart, depending on how you know me. Born and raised here in Chicago. I'm still in Chicago, uh, although I live right outside the city. I, I moved off the block. Yeah. Amen. I moved off the block, but I'm I'm still around. Um, I am an entrepreneur. I'm a business guy who happens to be in the business of education. Yeah. Um, my company is Genius Lab, and we are focused on exposing young people to careers in business and technology by teaching entrepreneurship and computer coding skills. Yeah. And so that's what I've been doing for the last seven years, but I have about 21 years of classroom experience working in and throughout Chicago public schools, middle schools, and high schools for the most part. And even have taught at Chicago State University, DePaul University, Lewis University, taught in Mexico, taught in Europe, over in uh, Bosnia, Herzegovina, have students over in Madagascar, uh, Nairobi, things of that nature. And I'm still just doing this work, man, and following behind the grace of uh, instructional leaders like yourself, brother. Oh, man, no, I appreciate that, man. And, and listen, I'm going to tell listen, everybody that's listening in, you know, this is just literally, Stu gave me a call. I went live yesterday. Like, he called me today and I he said, yo, you're live yesterday. For those who don't know, I went live yesterday. Just, I wanted to onboard people around the emerging tech, especially with, with chat GPT, right? And Stu, like I told you, you know, people was, people were like, yo, don't tell people, don't, don't keep it. And, you know, somebody was like, yo, some real estate guru, credit repair person told their community one day and they never told them about it again because people are so scared of the tech. They're like, oh, I'm going to be put out of business. And, you know, you call me. We're talking about some of the work in Chicago schools, New York, Compton, where we're at. And we found like there's a gap between new tech, socially conscious leaders, and there's a big disconnect, rather I say yeah. And I figured, like, why don't we just get on, explore together, yeah. right? show the power of Chat GPT. We were just like, yo, let's do it. So that's how we're here, y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I call because, one, I just, I follow all of your stuff. You know that. Um, I've met you in person. I met you virtually first uh, about a year ago. Came out, saw you in person, and have just continued to follow you. I could not believe you were giving it away. And I was just <laughs> super excited. Um, you put me on chat, chat GPT. I learned about it from following you on, on social yeah. and have been exploring it. And when I saw what you were doing in the live, my, my literally, I was laying in the bed. It's, it's, you, you know what day it is. It's the second day of the year. I'm still chilling, right? I'm laying in the bed on my phone. My kids was jumping on me. I was like, yo, get up. Get up. I got to go to the office. I, I'm not us. Uh, I'm going to work. Daddy, where you going? I'm going to work. I'm about to go to work, man. Like, right. that's what you did. I got on the I'm, I'm got on the phone. I just couldn't contain it. And I said, man, my people here in Chicago need to get in tune because, and I'll say it, and I know I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm here for all the smoke, by the way, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they, they just tech adverse, man. You know, just seemingly afraid of the tech. And I can imagine there'll be some school leaders that will fight chat GPT. Oh. Oh, and I'm all. like, that's the wrong move. That's the yeah, wrong move. They're, they're fighting They're fighting it because they're looking at technology. And we're going to jump in right after this, but okay. we they're fighting it because they're looking, it, they're looking at it. And I said this, I tweeted this. I said, we need to stop looking at technology as just discharging us, as firing us. Like, oh, this is going to discharge all these teachers, but we're not thinking about it and how it can supercharge you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should be able to supercharge your productivity, supercharge your efficiency, and supercharge your effectiveness, yeah. and, and actually, in many ways, help with, with with mental health and stress on the job in many ways. So so I'm excited to jump into it, bro. So let's get into it, bro. Get into it. Let me let me put it up. Let's put this up on the screen. Okay. Let's let's, let's dive into it. All right. So and while you're doing that, Chat GPT is something that all of you can download on all of your devices. Yep. It works on your laptop, desktop, 
your mobile devices, your smart devices, easy to go, right? So you're doing it. This is you're doing desktop right here, right? Doing not desktop. Here. So this this desktop right here, and it, it, it man, it's just a game changer. So she. One of the things that we could just, we just gonna show, we we don't have no script. We did we just jump, we're just jumping on, right? Yeah. And similar to what I did last night, if I know being in education, being a principal stool, that that the new, the new semester is like a new beginning. If you're an effective leader, effective teacher, you're like, okay, this is a fresh start, new yeah. year, everybody's energy kind of like, okay, if last semester was great, we want to continue that. But if last yeah. semester was bad. This is our opportunity. It's like halftime. We want to get come out in the third quarter and be good. So yeah. what are things that, that that teachers should be ready to re-engage their, their, their kids on? And a lot of teachers, too, they're like, I don't know. I'm, I'm struggling with how I'm going to re-engage. You literally can use chat GPT to come up with ways to re-engage. And I'll give you an example, right? Watch this. How can I re mm. Um, re-engage my, let's just say, fifth grade students around learning. Yeah, after the new year. It okay. Just, just right, boom. Yeah, yeah. Right. Pick, boom. It's just giving you free some 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 ideas. Start with the fun activity or icebreaker to get students excited. Okay, cool. Let's just say a teacher stool. They were like, "Hey, I kind of thought about a fun activity." You know, so what you would do is say, you know what? This is the prompt. It gives you these information, incorporate new and exciting mm -hmm. content in your class. They give you just generic ideas. So let's say you want to go with number one. You say from above, number one, provide mm. Mm. five, five, you know, activities. Icebreakers. Yeah, icebreakers, five icebreakers, right? Boom. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, look, let me let me let me jump in. See, yeah. for me, as a so I did I did not go to school to be a teacher. Yeah. Now, mind you, I said I have 21 years of classroom experience, and I've been I've been awarded teacher of the year. I've been I've been teacher of the decade. One of the areas because I come from a business background, the area that I always struggled in was guess what. Mm -hmm. Lesson planning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lesson Same planning. Here. Same here. Lesson planning, bro. Yeah. So that I had great classroom engagement, but one of the, it's just like, man, thinking about the time it takes to create this, man. Now, just now, oh. look at this, Stu. If you've been in the game, you heard of two truths and a lie. Absolutely. But mm -hmm. I ain't thinking about it. I ain't thinking about it right now, but you could be like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I ain't done that in years. Let me bring that back. The human yeah. knot. Everybody remembers the human knot. That's bring crazy. That back, right? Would you rep? And then just check this out. What you what if you said, you know what? I like these, but make five uh icebreakers that are using TikTok, if you want to just use social media, right? Oh, I put these, hold on. I need to refresh it. We generate the response. Let me refresh it. Sorry, y'all. No, no, no. This is, they, they got to see this too because it's, gotta see it. it's so not going to be perfect. So this it's not going to be perfect. So it's right. Refresh, you hit the refresh. You get your chat going. You get it back. And the go great back. thing about it yeah. is on the left, it keeps your conversation. Yeah. Keeps your conversation. So you go revise ice breakers for TikTok. For TikTok use. And here we go. It's working. Dang. Here we go. Dang. TikTok, TikTok scavenger hunt. Create a list of challenges on to your favorite to <laughs> or TikTok. Dance Lip -sync battle. Song. Film your doing a funny voiceover. Lips. So now you. TikTok talent show. Right? Yeah. This is stuff you could do like first day, first day back, first, first, first day first back, first day back. Come on, y'all, we about to do that. And, and Professor Stu, check, check this out. So let's say you do that, right? TikTok Q and A. TikTok Q and A. You say from above. Watch this. From above, because we already know you you don't want your administrator to walk in and see you doing something that's not connected to Common Core. So you say mm -hmm. from above, make 
a lesson plan connecting it to common core. Fix that, fix that. From above, create, make. And listen, this is how cool. This is how cool. It's gonna it's gonna read it. It's gonna do it. It's gonna do it. You ain't <laughs> it's just gonna it's, it already understood the mistake. I already understand what you're trying to say. Dang, that's what I'm talking about. Objective student will use TikTok to complete challenges that require them to demonstrate their understanding of common core. Like, boom, TikTok app. Here they are. List of challenges. Yeah. Come up. Boom. All right. Now wait. You're gonna wait, wait for the wait for the good part. Here we go. Yeah, it's gonna come. It should be coming soon. Let's see. Did you say standard? Yeah, you said standard. Yeah, let me see if I can. Oh, it says it in the warm-up. Remind them of the standards in the uh, English language arts for fifth grade. <laughs> let's see what's the assessment. Oh, it's giving you assessment. And I, you know what happened? This is what and this is what's good. And this, I'm glad that this happened. Is because typically, and I ain't done it with TikTok, typically it actually lists out the standards, right? But what yeah. I what happened was create make a lesson connecting it to Common Core. Let's see if I see, you know what? We oh, above, yeah. above and provide yeah. common core standard. For the lesson, let's see what happens. We we we're just exploring this thing, right? Yes, right. No, it's we're oh, doing it. We're doing the same. And thing. So that's oh, 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 that, oh, there oh, it is. Oh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Boom! Right there, it gave it to you, Man. right? This is the this is the most excited I've ever been about. Uh, identifying common core standards because normally I got to go research and look it up which one is which because yeah. I don't have all the common core standards memorized. Yeah, no way. And and take in mind, Stu, we use some off the ball TikTok to try to connect common core to. Right? That's crazy. And, and we did fifth grade. So think about what you can do to create algebraic expressions or functions or this is here for you to be able to use. Now, you just created your icebreaker, right? Let's say- That's just an icebreaker. This is an icebreaker. And it gave you an assessment for the <laughs> icebreaker. Right? Oh, but this is, and this is, you could say, you know what? Create uh, a yeah, short yeah. story to introduce, I'm gonna just say intro, to my class on the above lesson. So now you just created a nice little short story that could be used as an engagement tool uh, to, to work with introducing the lesson, right? And see, for me, I'm like so much creative. My, my head exploded with creativity mm -hmm. based on, because now I don't have to worry about my writing being so on point. I mean, okay, look, I don't want to, but I'm that guy. But I don't, there's so much that more because, and this is what I've always said about technology. If you're using technology the right way, it gives you more time to be more creative and go deeper into the lessons. Yep. And go deeper into the learning. Now I don't have to worry about thinking about all this other stuff whilst, so I could just say, hey, I want to do this. This AI is saying, okay, here's what that looks like in writing in yep. standardized writing. Now I can go and do it. I can still remix this stuff. You got to. Right? Remix. Yep. Ah, oh, man. It, for me, it makes my classroom learning experience, my classroom environment, that much more engaging yes. and exciting for learning, for students. Yeah. Right? That's what I'm super excited about here. Yeah. And what's I also the did one. I'm sorry. You were about to say something. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I also did one. Um, So right here, just do like... From above, create a rap song. Oh yeah, I I just did that, and I was just was like, this is bananas. Yeah, <laughs> just to this is a, a this one. is a rap song that it's you can the use to introduce the lesson. I'm feeling fresh, ready to go. Got my backpack packed, my pencil sharp, going to hit the ground running, ready to show. But I learned like so. So you, you listen to get your whole chorus. We're gonna rock this class. We're gonna own it. We're, we're going to show the world that we got. We're going. We're kings and queens of English language arts. So watch this. Check this out. So you got verse two. You got the chorus, right? 
And you could sit here and say, if you're a true hit, if you're a true hip hop head, you probably go in and be like, yo, this was trash. Like this was trash. But this is what you do, yeah. right? You say, you know, revise the above yeah. Yeah. to make it more hip hop. And let's just see, I ain't never did it. Yeah. Sound like the Migos. I'm ready to kill oh, it. Oh, <laughs> this is what now. This this is the real conversation. This right. real conversation right here, bro. This We're going to slay this class. We're going to own it. We're going to show it. You know what I mean? So it's it's just giving you that's different, crazy different kind of context. I love it. I love that, it. That allows you it. to remix it for your own for your own uh, arsenal for your own weaponry to to go and fight for education liberation in your classroom, right? That's and right. Keep in mind. We're doing. We're using TikTok. Can you imagine if we use more? Hey, we're in a creative writing class, and we're getting, absolutely right. So now you can see here and say now, and the, this is the beauty behind it, uh, Professor Stu, is that this is a lane. This is keeping the conversation. So it's tracking all the data that we started this conversation with. So That's right. you can literally, as a teacher, if you look on the left, you could keep all the tracks of your stories of your language conversation going so if you're saying now i want to start a new email or whatever you can go back and it remembers the conversation and you can add right. right so you could say now uh provide me a presentation prompt for the lesson above to be used mm. in tone right and we got to introduce tone to them because Tone is using this technology, ladies and gentlemen, that will automate presentations for you. Okay? So mm. check this out. It's, it's giving the actual title, the purpose, the audience, the objectives. And then you could copy this, put it into another artificial intelligence tool that will make your presentation just like that. Right? So... And so we're literally doing, this is day one. We've been on here for all of maybe 15 minutes. And you're done. And we're, we've gotten so much done for day one. Day one back to school. Day one back to school. That's, that's, that's easy, right? This is easy. Right. And then you can sit here and say, you know what? Write a letter to my mm -hmm. parents. That's right. About... Uh, from you could say I know about the new semester from Mrs. Jones, and this is very generic prompt. Boom! Here you go. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to take a moment to update you on the start of the new semester for all the exciting things we have planned for your child in my English language arts class. One of the things that I am most excited about is our use of TikTok as a learning tool. TikTok Jeez. has become a very popular app, and I believe it has the potential to engage and inspire students in new and creative ways throughout the semester. What are we talking about, right? And then check this out. You can say from above, create a parent consent form. Mm. Boom. Boom. So what is this doing? This is allowing you to think about your needs and what would took you, look, it would have took us, who has a consent form? How many times, if you were an educator, I need a consent form. You have, you have a specific consent Bro. form that you can have, copy it, paste it, put it on letterhead, and you're good to go. The the, the beauty of this, and I want to get to another point. Um, I know you wanted to introduce tone, but the beauty of this is, just for me, with my adult ADHD, right? Like, I don't even think I could have gotten, I wouldn't have gotten through all this. There's no way. It wouldn't have been this well written. It wouldn't have been this planned out. Absolutely no way for me, right? So now this just takes off, it just it just takes a weight off of my shoulders, right? As an educational leader, right? As an education, as an educator, as a teacher, it takes so much off of my shoulders, right? So now I can literally just sit back and say, hey, chat GPT, I want to do this in the classroom. Yep. Yep. Period. 
help me come up with the, the right language. But you talked about how some teachers might see when it came to, um, you've been really on this about how this is going to change the game for students, because this is the teacher side, yeah, the educational leader side. But when students get a hold of this and writing their papers, yeah, uh, this is going to come into that. There'll be some problems with students writing papers using this tech, right? Yeah, like some people will see it as cheating. Yep. I don't see it as cheating. There's no way that I see this as cheating, uh, right? But how are you seeing that as yeah. students cheating and 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 that getting in the way of? what's happening in our, in our classrooms and our buildings. And I, and I go, and I've been big on this prior to chat GPT. It is challenging the traditional thought process or philosophy of what we measure as intelligence. Right. And if we just make it this, the simplest way of looking at this is like, we would think of English first. We think of essays. This thing could crush the AP writing exam. Like <laughs> it will crush it. But then it makes you figure, think about, well, what are we truly trying to measure when it comes to writing, right? What And what is that value to society or critical thinking? Give you, give you a case study, right? There are now going to be kids in your classroom that in a traditional world could construct the right essay and go through the whole writing process. And let's, let's be honest, Professor Stu, the writing process is very long, rough draft, edit, revise, blah, blah final draft, right? Like it could take weeks for you to get one paper if you go through the whole writing process. But through the writing process, you know, that kid comes up with it, takes them two weeks. But then have you ever had that kid, Professor Stu, that don't write, but they, they their thoughts is crazy. They answering questions. They got philosophy, they're philosophical. They're deep level thinkers. That person will use this and create a, a better essay, more effective, more efficient, boom. Right. And, and many a times as teachers, we'd be like, I wish you could just do the work. If we didn't value their creative thought, they would fail. They would get a D in the classroom because they didn't do no work. Right. But they did. the. They, their work was always being able to critically think. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying to us is. It's challenging us in our values in regards of how do we create learning experiences that are really valuable? And I'll give you an example right now. So let's just say we're writing an essay, uh, comparing, write an essay or history teacher, write an essay on uh, the rise of the Roman uh, or the rise of the Democratic Party or something like that, right? You can have all these prompts, but what if you challenge them to say, you know, look at key people in history and write three different essays from their perspective using chat GPT. See what I'm saying? Right. And then we say, so because so let's just say, for example, because you still uh, got to put the prompts in. You got to think gotta through that. You still, still got to think. And, you still yep. got to. And then, you know, and then you got to validate it once and you then get you got to validate it. So let's just say you can say right now, uh, write an essay on the rise of the Roman uh, say Democratic Party. Mess it up, but they're all all right. Boom. So it, it, it's spinning it out, right? This is very generic. It's very just boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. So but as a, as a, as a teacher, if you're reading it, you're gonna be like, like you would any other way, like this, bro. This ain't this ain't it. This ain't it. This ain't. You still got to go back. So is what it's going to challenge the teacher to do is to bring more nuance to critical thinking for students to say, oh wait, I still have to work this out, right? In the essay, put your personal experience and we are put real life experience in what you've gone through today and how that relates, right? Today, how has the Democratic Party or the rise of the Democratic Party impacted your life? Man. Right? So now you, I can go yeah. deeper because I know you have a tool that can allow you to go deeper. For the me as the student who received plenty of D's in elementary school and high school, you've just upped my confidence in learning. Yep. Because again, I st I can think about different stuff now. You just made me, and now I'm I'm eager to be in. Like I don't even have to be the best speller. I don't. I don't have, have to. to worry about my spelling in, at, at, to that degree anymore. Yep. Now I can just focus on what am I saying and how are my thoughts coming together 
this this technology is going to help me put the words and the sentences together and now I can defend my position. You can do, and then guess what? One of the things, especially in urban education that we don't do enough of, is having kids speak, having kids present. Like this is going to challenge you to do more quality project-based learning, right? In regards of, okay, I need you to validate this information. Mm-hmm. And I need you to speak confidently about this. Like, right, right, like this can write it out for you. But if I say now present to the class, yeah. what you gonna do, just read it? No, I need you to speak. I need you to feel yeah. it. Even if you said from above, create a presentation. Yeah. You still got to know. You, you st- Now the expectation, they've done all the work for you. But can you articulate it in a way that proves that you know what you're talking about? 1000%. Right. And it actually makes the learning process. You probably learn more effectively. Absolutely. Right? I see because you got now a person. It's almost like every kid, if they use this right, they have their own one-to-one pair of professional. Right. So you can, but this is the key. We have to teach them to use this tool. Can you think about students with exceptional needs who, who need a one-on-one, who, who need to put their thoughts out and need some support and feedback, Mm -hmm. personalized feedback right away. You have a tool right here. Mm Mm-hmm. But if you don't know how to use the tool, mm-hmm. you're just still empty. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it just gave you a whole presentation right here. Right? It gave you the whole thing. So now I want to do something. Yeah. I want to I want to test something. Go ahead. Go back to the prompt. What was the prompt? I just the prompt it. was uh write, write an essay on the rise of the Democratic Party. Let me share my screen. Okay, hold on. I want to see. I, I just let's just see. If I get the exact same thing. Yep, yep. Make your co-host. I can't I can't talk right now. All right, so I'm sharing my screen. Hold on, let me stop sharing right quick. Okay. All right, go ahead. All right, here we go. So um where am I? There you go, right there. Okay. So right and let me go. Right and essay on the rise of the democratic what'd you say democratic party yep i want to see if we get the exact let me go back to mine the the story the back in the 19th century let's just look at that first line let me look at mines no it actually didn't start the same it didn't because that's going to be the next time start up mine started off with the democratic party is one of the two major political parties in the united states along with the republican party that's how it started off and then the second paragraph started off the democratic party was founded in 1828 and so mine says the democratic party was founded in the 1820s by supporters of andrew jackson who ran for president 1824 1828 okay so that's the next test for me is like if I gave every student in the classroom the exact same prompt in chat GPT, how many variations will we get? Yeah, yeah. And that that's that's right there, a scavenger hunt right there. Mm-hmm. Like my whole thing is let's get kids to explore with this technology. But the, the key is, the key is too is how do we get educators to start creatively thinking about yeah. the prompts and tools? And that's where we come in at as the creators and builders. We are building uh, uh, systems and structures to empower teachers to explore with this technology, engage with the technology, explain with the technology, exhibit with the technology, right? Mm-hmm. This is what the, the the transformation of the digital revolution is happening. And it's happening at an alarming rate. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, this is phenomenal. Um, I'm glad that you were able to show this um, to come on here and 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 to demonstrate to demo this, um, take us to Tomo Tom, Tome real quick. Show yeah, us Tome real quick. Tom, you know what I mean? Tom. Is it Tome? I think it's Tome, but you know, listen. I, yeah, I, right, I, right. Throw it in uh, <laughs> the chat. But listen, all right. So we're here. My, uh, my screen is up, and we're gonna say, all right, we're just gonna go here to, to Tome, and I'm going to go back. 
Okay. And this is a presentation, uh, AI presentation. This is, this is for, yeah, this is for presentations um, and it's using chat GPT. They embedded chat GPT okay. to create presentations. So you can literally go to chat GPT and say, create a tone prompt to develop a great presentation. Okay. Boom, right? So here we go. Uh, oh, I didn't give it the prompt. I didn't play it from above. Uh, from above. Create tone prompt for presentation. Let's see if that goes. It's still writing. On and it's coming through though. You know, it's like it comes through. Democratic Party. Now again, you want to um no, oh, it's not even uh, doing it. I'm just gonna go to it. I have to probably revise the question. So I'm gonna say uh create a presentation. And then you don't even have to do create a presentation. You can just do like rise of rise of Democratic, of Democratic Party. Party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boom. So boom, there it goes. Right. This is bananas. Bananas. Boom. It's coming up. It's going to add some pictures to it. Mm -hmm. Now, again, they also, I mean, I, it's so many other tools. Uh, Professor, mm -hmm. that there's another tool called um, Dolly, where you can go and write prompts and it will create art for you. Generally. Mm. Um, and this where that's actually where this art is coming from. The technology and the art is still evolving. Um, so you'll see some of it is not all the way there, but you can only imagine in a few months it's gonna be crazy. Right. This is the beginning. This is the very, very beginning. This yeah. is Pong. So exactly. So look at this. The different kind of arise. <laughs> Boom. So you got the title page, you got the table of contents, okay. Then boom, the origins of the Democratic Party. Democratic Party was founded in the early 19th century initially as a reaction to the policies of the Federalist Party. Boom, gave, gave you something. Um, the rise of the Democratic Party here, boom. The Democratic Party gained traction in the mid, boom, boom, it's gone. Boom. And you can easily change these pictures. Absolutely. Right? Change you can change the, the text as well, correct? Easy, right here. Boom, I can change it, right? It gives you everything right here. And if you don't like the color, you can go change the color. Uh, like that, boom. You can go and say, there you oh, go. I like that. There you go. I like that. Oh, there I like you go. light. And you're done. Download it and you're done. And it's totally a free tool right now. So, That's what's what been the what, educators that you've been talking to? What's been the initial temperature check? So, How have they responded? Are they fighting it or are they with it? So there's 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 people that are very cautious, right? Like and and they very conservative, saying like I don't want to use this tool. They're afraid of the tool, and they're looking at it as a way of students teach cheating, um, and just cheating the process. They're looking at it as unethical, and then you have others that are like, oh my gosh, this is amazing, and then you have others that's like in the middle, right? And I am the person that listen. It's here. Elon Musk had put out stuff saying that we should have been trying to regulate AI for a while. And this is what I foresee. Who knows? No one can predict the future. AI has coded bias. If you haven't seen the documentary, coded bias. There's, so there is going to be some person, some human that does something very unethical with AI. And there's going to be the need for regulation. Now, I still believe ChatGPT and other tools will be the new Google. This is this. It's going to happen. And it's going to be it involved. Yeah. And that is why it's important for communities that we share commonality, where we share common brotherhood and sisterhood in to be part of the conversation, part of the pioneers, part of the trailblazing to understand the tech, to leverage the tech, to start companies with the tech, to be part of the careers in the tech that is part of the social engineering of our communities. Because if not, Professor Stu, we're going to find ourselves in the same situation saying, oh my gosh, we're, we we don't know this. We ain't, why ain't we not involved? We not a part of it. We just said, yeah. Yeah. So listen, man, it was an honor. I know what we're going to get on yeah. again, bro. But we've been yeah. on. Yeah. 
tell the people where they where they can find you and, and how they where they should be following you at on everything that you do. Yeah, I'm uh, Professor Stu on IG. Follow us at Genius Lab Chicago on IG. My website is Genius Lab Chicago. And why don't you also tell the people where they can find you, man? Yeah, man. I'm Principal Raw on all platforms. A revolutionary principal. I'm bridging culturally conscious leaders and humane oriented leaders to the future of tech, future of work with Web3, crypto, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and just really getting people connected off of what is being built around it. So principal role on all platforms. I'm also the founder of K12 Crypto, which is a learn to earn platform that allows kids to earn cryptocurrency while they're in school. So they'll be able to learn this stuff and get paid to do it to fund their future, Stu. So it's going to yeah, be crazy. Man. You are the revolutionary educator, brother. That's for sure. You started that. And anybody who comes in education talking about being revolutionary, they got it from you. Yeah. They got it from you, brother. So just don't don't even be, don't even study it, man. And not one bit. They got it from you. You set the tone. You got a couple books out that people can buy on Amazon and, yeah, and all that good stuff. And yeah, yeah. They can be able to check the link on Amazon, Revolutionary School Culture. Got a few more books coming out still. That's that's about to be crazy. But I really want people tap into uh our revolutionaryeducator.com. We have a full fledge of courses that will allow you to leverage the technology. We just dropped a course on how to use OpenChat GPT, Tome, Steve AI, and other AI tools to make your life a lot easier in the field of education. So make sure y'all tap in with the Genius Lab. Make sure you tap into our YouTube page. Make sure y'all subscribe, y'all, and let's stay revolutionary. Hit the like, subscribe, y'all, share, y'all. Thanks for taking time out your day, man, the top of the year, man, and get this thing going, man. So... I love you, brother. I'm 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 on your heels. I'm with you, and I'm looking forward to this journey with you. Until next time, man. You already know.